Hmm. I became interested in entomopathogenic fungi. Fungi that kill insects. Our house is being destroyed by carpenter ants. So I went to the EPA homepage, and they were recommending studies with metarhizium species, a group of fungi that kill carpenter ants, as well as termites. I did something that nobody else had done. I actually chased the mycelium when it start, stopped producing spores. These are spores. This is no spores. I was able to morph the culture into a non-sporulating form. And so the ind industry has spent over $100 million specifically on, on bait stations to prevent termites from eating your house. But the insects aren't stupid. They would avoid the spores when they came close. And so I morphed the cultures into a non-sporulating form. And I got my daughter's Barbie doll dish. I put it right, right with a bunch of carpenter ants are making debris fields every day in my house. And the ants were attracted to the mycelium because there's no spores. They gave it to the queen. One week later, I had no sawdust piles whatsoever. And then a delicate dance between uh, uh, dinner and death. The mycelium is consumed by the ants. They become mummified, and boing, a mushroom pops out of their head. <laughs> <laughs> now, after sporulation, the spores repel. So the house is no longer suitable for invasion. So you have a near permanent solution for reinvasion of termites. And so my house came down. I received my first patent against carpenter ants, termites, and fire ants. Then we tried extracts, and lo and behold, we can steer insects to different directions. This has huge implications. I then received my second patent. And this is a big one. It's been called an Alexander Graham Bell patent because it covers over 200,000 species. This is the most disruptive technology I've been told by executives of the pesticide industry that they have ever witnessed. This could totally revamp the pesticide industries throughout the world. You could fly 100 PhD students under the umbrella of this concept because my supposition is that entomopathogenic fungi prior to sporulation attract the very insects that are otherwise repelled by those spores.